A woman in North Carolina has been sentenced to three years in prison for posing as an FBI agent on a dating website and illegally having a gun. US attorney Andrew Murray announced last Thursday that 39-year-old Rianne Lee Brownlee had been sentenced to 37 months for impersonating an FBI agent and illegally possessing a firearm. Desperate to find love, Brownlee, who is also known as Rianne Lee Webb, posted a series of side-facing snaps on dating websites showing off her fake FBI badge, firearm and orbs. Although conservative, you'd be forgiven for assuming that her profile pics were nothing more than an attempt at cosplay or to lure in a man who enjoys being under the boot of the law. But no. On February 23rd, 2019, when Brownlee was on a date, she reportedly told the person that she was an FBI agent conducting a counter-drug operation. After Brownlee was arrested later the same day, she falsely told the same person that she had to keep her identity secret from law enforcement because she was operating undercover, so it's safe to say she took the whole roleplay thing too far. Court records show that in addition to the fake FBI badge, law enforcement recovered a stolen loaded gun from the stolen vehicle Brownlee was driving. To top it all off, authorities also recovered a fake FBI ID bearing Brownlee's picture and the name FBI Special Agent Alexandria Mancini. She has multiple prior felony convictions, including identity theft, felony worthless checks, and possession of a stolen motor vehicle. She is also prohibited from possessing a firearm or ammunition. But she's not the only one where looking for love got the law involved. A Florida gator that was blocking traffic was apparently just looking for some loving. Manatee County Sheriff's Office took to Facebook to share a snap of a nine-foot alligator that was removed from a road for, quote, being aggressive with traffic. In their post, they note that it's mating season, which means lustful reptiles could be more mobile and aggressive than usual. This particular gator in search of carnal knowledge was about 40 miles south of Tampa when he went into his display of road rage frustration. The police said they moved him to an alligator farm where hopefully this hard-as-scales gator will have more luck with the ladies than he would, say, prowling a busy road. Lastly, the cops offered some tips to ensure you don't fall victim to horny gators that will only make you look bad. But not all gators are looking for love. Some just want to have a drink at the end of the day and will do anything to get to it. An 11-foot alligator smashed its way through a homeowner's window in Clearwater, Florida. The Tampa Bay Times reported that it was 3.30 a.m. when 77-year-old homeowner Mary Wishhusen was on her way to the bathroom when she heard the crash through her kitchen window. Wishhusen locked eyes with the alligator and said, quote, All I had was a vision of a huge head, a gigantic head looking at me saying, Hey. She called the authorities and fled to her bedroom to hide, where she, quote, went on the computer and played games to settle down. According to Channel 3000, the gator was pulled out of the same window it came through and had caused considerable damage to the homeowner's drywall, a large glass table, and several bottles of wine. Wishhusen asked, I don't know why he wanted my red wine, but he got my red wine, the good stuff. Concerned about the fragility of her wine, she queried, the next gator might like white wine. Channel 3000 reported that the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commons was forced to put the gator down. If you want more Tomo in your life, click the subscribe and bell button so you get notified when a new video is up. Thanks for watching Tomo News.